Hello there, um, excuse me, Scorpio. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with Scorpio placements in their chart. Okay, remember to flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you all for the love, the support, the donations. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. So let's see, Scorpio, let's tap into your energy. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please guide me and protect me with your pure white light as I channel these messages here for Scorpio. Remove and return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Okay, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. <clears throat> messages for my Scorpions. What's going on for Scorpio? Okay. So we have defensive, easily triggered, quick to react, ready to pop off, not backing down. <laughs> okay. Endurance. Okay. And you're standing your ground, period. A longevity, overcoming adversity, standing the test of time. Okay. What else? Support. Close ally, offer of assistance, sharing the burden, not in it alone. What else? <laughs> Curiosity. <clears throat> Something could be getting ready to happen like out of the blue. All right, curiosity, peak interest, investigating further, taking a closer look, keeping tabs. Bottom of the deck is disillusioned. Rose colored glasses, not as good as it seemed, feeling let down and disappointment. So, okay. So I feel like somebody here, you're having to defend yourself against somebody. Okay, you're moving along slowly but surely though. I feel like it's been taking a while to get out of something or to like stand up for yourself against somebody, but I feel like you're doing it, okay? And you're not backing down. You could have somebody around you that's been through the same thing that you've been through so they understand you, they can help you, okay? It says a close ally, so this could be a close friend or somebody that you have a crush on that you like or your person. That's how they feel about you, I don't know. But you could understand what this person is going through. <clears throat> or something. You could just have a close friend here that's helping you, you know, deal with some shit. Because somebody here, <clears throat> for some of you, somebody has anger issues. <laughs> but I feel like you're protecting yourself against someone. Let's see, what's defensive? Yeah, nine of wands. <laughs> what's defensive here? Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, um, yeah, seven of wands. <laughs> The chariot. Yeah, you're still moving forward through something. <laughs> Somebody here. Okay, the Empress. Somebody is not giving up without a fight. Okay, with the Knight of Cups. Now, this could be good or bad, right? I feel like for some of you, it's bad because there's a new opportunity. Well, I mean, it's good for you, but bad for their stupid ass. But there's a new opportunity coming in for you. This could be a new career. You could be becoming an entrepreneur. This could be more money coming in for you, more stability, more security, um, more loyal like connections, people that are coming towards you with good intentions and things like that. And you have somebody around you that's like obsessed. They're a troublemaker. They lash out here. Somebody that's emotionally manipulative mentally it could be manipulative as well um i don't know i just somebody's like obsessed knight of cups in reverse this is like bad news too so somebody they just they just don't want to leave you the fuck alone is what i'm getting whoever this is and you're just you're just moving along slowly but surely getting ahead and working through whatever this is because i feel like somebody's getting on your nerves this person lacks self-awareness. They don't have no sense of like self or intuition. Their intuition is blocked. They can't bring nothing to the table. They can't create with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So I just feel like you're over it. Yeah, they always got their hand out. They always need help. They could be breadcrumbing you and shit. I just feel like you're over it. So you're defending yourself. Yeah. Three of Swords. And this is them that feels sad or whatever the fuck. But what's, what's the Knight of Cups in reverse? 
Um, for some of you, I'm getting to your person, or this could be you. Someone is trying to really avoid confronting something. But somebody is too, like, they're patient. They're really patient, okay? Like, you taking your time with, with confronting. But this person is here to, like, show you what true loyalty is, what real, like, love is. So you could be, like, scared to confront this person or let them know what you've been through if it's, like, abuse or something like that. And they still going to be persistent. They still got to offer for you. I feel like that's, like, true love. It just depends, right? I know y'all like, no, that don't mean da 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 I get it. But those of you that know, you know. All right, yeah, the high priestess, Pisces energy. Some of you guys are used to someone, like used to people that are easily like, they anger quickly. So somebody could be avoiding, yeah, four of pentacles. They could be avoiding confrontation with you <clears throat> because they feel like you're going to pop off or say something mean or whatever. That could be like a, a, a childhood like trauma or something that they went, went through for some of you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, that is somebody that's easily temp uh like they have a bad temper, possibly, or easily they could be easily like offended or something. I don't know. But like a yeah, hot temper with the Knight of Wands. But um There's something that somebody here knows that they need to do, but they're scared to confront it. It's a secret. Somebody has to tell you some sort of secret with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're also, there's somebody around you that's getting on your fucking nerves and you're keeping everything quiet. Like, you're keeping everything quiet here. What's what's the Knight of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess? Somebody here is very intuitive. Yeah, the sun. They already know about it. Leo energy. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody is hella fucking intuitive here. Somebody already knows what it is that you're trying to keep to yourself. And they're not giving up on you. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here really loves you here. You love them. I don't know. But they know what you're what you're going through. They know what the fuck you're going through here. Yeah, that's why it's going to be for some of you. You already know this person. There's going to be a reconciliation <clears throat> with the judgment and the Ace of Wands. There's like an awakening happening or something like that. I don't know, but this person is trying to, 111 on the clock, they're trying to like show you that they are understanding. If you just open up, somebody is, they, they don't want confrontation. That's what I'm getting with that Knight of Cups. All right, for some of you, somebody here could have miscarried. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that if that's you. Could be dealing with the Leo with the sun, but there's like fertility here or somebody is hella sensitive to like energy, your emotions, so they could feel you. They know what the fuck you're going through. Okay, or vice versa. What's the Ace of Pentacles? There's an opportunity here. Yeah, that you're not taking action on. It could be a Leo here or Aries said, but King of Wands is a Leo. King of Wands in reverse is like not feeling like you have confidence or you feel weak or, you know, you're scared. This could be you feeling like fear. Yeah, Um. let me see something. What's this King of Wands in reverse? The Seven of Cups. So somebody here could be confused about something. They're like confused on how to like take action. For some of you, it's because you're so fucking intuitive. I'm getting deja vu here. Yeah, Spirit Guides with the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is a healer. They're very much so a psychic. This could be what you do for work. You could be a white witch here with the Queen of Pentacles. It's just a healer, okay? I just like saying white witch because I, I like that kind of shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. But somebody is a healer, though, basically. Yeah, Three of Cups. Your spirit guides are guiding you to reconcile with somebody or speak to them. Yeah, the, the, the King of Swords. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. It's some sort of truth that you're hiding or your person is hiding about. But it could be about a third party. And I feel like somebody here already knows about it. They already know about it here. There's a new beginning you're bullshitting on here. You're taking your sweet time, okay, or you're just not moving at all. It's like somebody, the King of Wands is like somebody that's not a leader. They're not being assertive. And I feel like it's because you're confused on how to approach the situation because, like, I don't know if you're still in your ego or whoever the fuck this is. 
Okay, I'm getting that off this King of Wands too with the Seven of Cups. It's like you're you're confused on how to approach someone because it's like, well, shit, they already know everything, but that's not really the point. All right, that's not the point. Or maybe this person gives off with the sun energy that they know everything. Okay, so you're just like, well, shit, there ain't nothing for me to tell them. If they know, then why the fuck this not moving? That's what I'm getting. Like, I swear. But there's a way you have to go about this, though. You still, I feel like somebody still, they go off morals and principles and things like that. Like, you can't, yeah, eight of wands, you need to communicate still, though. It doesn't matter what this person knows. It's like, they don't know everything just because they're a psychic like that. But they can, they are intuitive. And I feel like, you know, something has already been exposed. For some of you, somebody's a tarot reader. Or they just a psychic. I don't fucking know. You had a tower with the page of swords. Okay, something get ready to come out. Or there's some sort of new information that you're going to expose to them. Or they're going to expose to you. There could be a lot of opportunities, okay, for somebody. And they're just, like, not taking action on none of them because they don't know what to trust. But I feel like you have a close ally. You have a trusted person here that's supporting you already. You feel me? Like, somebody that you're not taking action towards is the one that you need to go towards is what I'm saying. Maybe it's because, I don't know, y'all got history. They got a past. You got one. And there needs to be, like, a. I feel like there needs to be a conversation, Somebody don't want to confront the issue. Yeah, because of the paranoia. Somebody's like scared. Okay, for some of you, somebody has been like abused or something. That could be what this is. Yeah, it could be a king of cups. Somebody has like been abused. I get that with the nine of wands, eight of swords. Somebody, I don't know. I feel like they mind playing tricks on them or something. Like if, like if I do say this, they really going like, I don't know what they going to do, but I feel like they going... Somebody's like self-sabotaging or whatever. But let's see. What's endurance? Longevity. Yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody is patient, bro. Whoever the earth sign is. <laughs> Somebody is like patient and they're very hardworking. Somebody is like... There's like a collaboration that can stand the test of time or... Yeah, we got more pinnacles right here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This person here is a divine feminine, divine masculine. They're very patient. They're graceful. Like, they don't even be doing all that extra shit. Okay, one, two, three, four on the clock. Yeah, this is somebody of your soul tribe. So the thing that you need to do is trust, okay? <clears throat> yeah, you need to have more confidence in yourself. What's endurance with the three of pinnacles or this day ass? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Kind of, yeah, in reverse, basically. Hmm. Um, so the eight of cups in reverse, yeah, that's like somebody faking their happiness. Somebody's like emotionally immature too. <laughs> so that could be somebody coming back though. That could be somebody returning to work with you, to build with you or something like that. Somebody here, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that's bitter. They ass is pregnant, but they're still causing trouble in your life and shit. And they could be very bitter around you. It's like they got options, but now that you're getting something new, they want to be mad and shit. And because you're what? You could be going back to somebody or returning somewhere or just moving on with your life. I don't know. Somebody else could be pregnant or whatever. And they got exposed. They could have had a one night stand with somebody. This could be somebody you were in a relationship with or your person was and they cheated. And now they're sitting up here pregnant. And you're leaving them behind here. They could be very bitter, jealous, weak, competitive, king of wands in reverse. That's what I'm saying. Then you're getting new. Somebody else is mad about that. But bitch, you got options here. You chose what you wanted to do and whatever. But <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Somebody is, they have, somebody is non-committal to air cups in reverse. They could have abandonment issues and shit. They could just be very insecure. What's the air cups in reverse? Yeah, the Emperor. Two of Swords. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. Who's this Emperor? Seven of Swords. 
someone could have an Aquarius moon. Something about um, a father figure and um, a pregnancy, okay? Or, I don't know, somebody, yeah, your person. <laughs> um, Somebody is just trying to stay in control of something. Somebody is just controlling, okay? Somebody is coming back, though. I feel like they're coming... Whoever this is right here with the Emperor Upright, somebody is taking action towards you. They don't give a fuck about this bitch, what's going on here, who's pregnant or whatever. Especially if this is not their child. I don't feel like it is if this is how they're moving. They could be coming back to you like they don't want to be detected by whoever this is. Because whoever this is causes trouble. They cause a lot of trouble. This could be their ex. Somebody's obsessed with someone and it's unhealthy. So there could be a lot of secrets. Like somebody's moving silently. They don't want to be detected here. For some of y'all, I mean, they could be lying about something. It's like they're running away to try to stay in control of a situation. They think you're going to chase them and you're not. But I feel like with endurance here, longevity, overcoming adversity, standing the test of time. Yeah, this is somebody here stepping into their mask. They, like they're stepping into their power. Okay, and moving forward. Yeah, Six of Swords with the Your Person card. It's like somebody just doesn't want to be detected though. They're keeping it quiet because somebody is a troublemaker. They do too much. I feel like they do too fucking much. Let's see. For some of you, I'm getting somebody here cheated and they pregnant. All right. And this is why you're leaving this bitch behind or however it's going. Yeah, the Empress. I can't make it up. Pregnancy. The Empress, the Tower, the Ten of Wands. Something is coming in unexpectedly. Or there's a tower moment. This Empress here then dropped your ass or whoever this is. <laughs> and the wheel is turning now because... <clears throat> somebody too busy in their ego and not taking action somebody's patience is wearing thin Taurus Libra energy somebody Taurus and Libra especially Taurus they got extreme amount of patience they're fair they're very compassionate very like I don't know so somebody got that in them but I feel like they're getting tired so there's the tower somebody's like no I can't wait no more so I'm just letting it go and now <laughs> that's when I feel like something's gonna come in but what's the seven of swords Yeah, five. I'm telling you, five of one. Somebody's like fighting and shit, arguing, bickering. The eight of cups in reverse could talk about stagnation too, though. I, I don't feel like it's stagnation in this case. I feel like, I mean, well, it could be if they still stuck arguing with this bitch. Yeah, three of cups or whatever. But I feel like they know, this is just them knowing intuitively that there's competition. So they're moving quietly. I feel like they already probably got themselves out of something and they're trying to return. But they know that there's like somebody in competition with you as this third party. Could be friends, family, people in their family or whatever. What's the uh, three of pentacles? But they ain't giving up on this road. Somebody not letting this shit go at all. <laughs> yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Six of cups, the ace of wands. Yeah, somebody's like sure or something. You guys could be saying 919. That could be confirmation that something is coming. Um, Nine of Swords talks about like coming from out of a time of like anxiety or overthinking or feeling overwhelmed, like to the point where you're like <laughs> struggling. Okay, I'm getting to the Nine of Swords in reverse talks about like extreme guilt and remorse, and like somebody could be depressed too. Though, let's see, what's this Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Somebody needs like support or help too. Whoever this is, they need help. They need support. They need money. Someone could have a Taurus moon. Somebody is nervous about you giving to somebody else. Like maybe you were the supporter, you were the provider or whatever the fuck. They liked you when you was weak though and they had power. They like when you was confused or when you was down and out or whatever. And now I feel like you're in a position of authority. You're taking back your power. Now somebody, they need you. Somebody cried wolf too much times and they're a loser. That's what I'm saying. Now they want to fight and shit. Whoever this is, is just stupid. They childish. And this is why they getting left right now. And right now, what's the dinosaurs in reverse? What's the dinosaurs in reverse with the six of pentacles? Four of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like penny pinching or... They're like complacent or comfortable. They just, they need to get out. Somebody needs to be, needs to humble this person. And I feel like they are getting humble because I feel like you're returning somewhere. You're, 
you're 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 getting away so whoever this is is very controlling i feel like this is what you've learned the three of pentacles talks about i feel like you're learning somebody is learning about being a team player putting in the effort the time this could be something that they weren't they wasn't doing for you your person and they got the a dose of that shit from the karmic and now it's hard for them to get rid of a karmic so that that's their lesson though about being stingy and sharing yeah four of pentacles six of pentacles somebody here is stingy and this is this karmic that they with and i feel like they were stingy towards you they wasn't giving you shit they were in and out back and forth night of night of wands so now it's like this person. So yeah, you were kind of like a catalyst for their growth or whatever. Just like they're a catalyst for this karmic's growth. Could be a Capricorn. Somebody here could be saving money too. You're saving for something. That's the Ten of Pentacles right there. But we have three up here. But I'm looking at that six and a four. Somebody could be saving up to buy you some sort of gift gift to like make up for something that they did to get this like team thing going again. Like to show you that they want to give to you and things like that. So yeah, it's like somebody getting back on their shit really with their money, their finances. And somebody around them is like begging. I feel like they're begging or crying or they need this and they need that. Uh, yeah, something is coming together between you and a soulmate. The temperance with the two of cups or this is just a connection coming in your life or you getting help i don't know but there is love here between you and somebody and it's really protected too this five of cups is somebody else like sad and upset and mad and wanting to fight because they're not getting anything they're very bitter whoever this is and they could even be abusive for some of you and this is why you're done with a stupid ass you took your power back yeah ten of swords okay from a karmic or your person did what's what support yeah three of swords libra saturn what's um support here with the three of swords two of swords so yeah libra moon so libra could be significant Two of Wands, the Empress, yeah, the Tower. I'm telling you, something is coming in. There's a partnership coming in with your Empress, Emperor, Divine Masculine, or Divine Feminine, if you're watching. But <clears throat> yeah, I feel like somebody is realizing that you, yeah, it's the Cups. Some of y'all getting new love here. This is brand new. You don't even know this person yet or whatever, but most of you maybe do. But um, somebody is. What am I trying to say, Spirit? Okay, yeah, these are this is five of swords here. Somebody could be an Aquarius. I'm getting Aquarius too. There's like miscommunication between you and this person because somebody is dealing with some sort of heartbreak or pain or some sort of trauma, depression by from a third party. And I feel like they're trying to block it out. Like they don't want to talk about it. So th this could be what's causing miscommunication between you and your person because they maybe they, they have trust issues they're like i don't know if i can trust them with me telling them my deepest darkest secrets or whatever i've been through here but spirit is telling you or your person that you or your person can be trusted y'all can trust one another they're here to support you they've been through the same thing you've been through type thing so somebody is trying to something is at a stalemate due to a lot of heartbreak and pain or somebody needed to break up but it still needs to be a healing period you can't just go from that to this it's like especially if y'all been together or you've been with a karmic for years and shit like that. Like, it's not just going to move that fast. It's like, yeah, sharing the burden. I feel like, bro, somebody here loves somebody so much that they're willing to kind of like... I mean, I ain't going to say that's like true love or whatever. But I mean, when two people really love each other, you make that shit work. Ain't no... You feel me? Like, if, if it's like a true love. I ain't talk about this karmic shit where there's fighting, arguing, bickering, going back and forth. Two people that don't know how to fucking communicate. I feel like it's only an understanding when there's like heartbreak and pain. And yes, there's only but so much time you can wait. You know what I'm saying? Until you get tired. But I feel like somebody is hella patient with someone. Like they have, they have, Somebody has proven and shown that they can be trusted. So this is why somebody I feel like is coming back. Because somebody got major trust issues or they've just been really heartbroken. They've been really in pain or something. So I feel like somebody has to learn or they had to learn over time that you could be trusted. Yeah, that you're their empress. This could be a sudden realization. Yeah, that they're in love with you and they fucked up. Five of Cups or they 
I don't know, two of cups if they love you or something like that. Somebody, what's the three of swords? It's like, I feel like too, somebody else around you or karmic around you or your person is like sad because somebody supports you or because they love you for you and not for you, what you got in your pants and your pockets and shit like that. Like somebody's just a greedy ass loser. And this is why this hoe is getting left out in the cold with a pregnant ass. And for some of you, they pregnant and they cheating. I don't give a fuck. That shit is lame. What's the three of swords? Or this could be a man that cheated on you with a woman and the bitch is pregnant and now they sitting up here and regret, whatever. What's the three of swords? Yeah, the eight of wands. Yeah, somebody has something to speak to you, to tell you. It's like something that's heartbreaking or it's going to make you feel sad or it's going to ruffle you like your emotions and shit. Or you're going to get in your emotions and feelings. I don't know. But somebody has something to tell you. But I feel like it's going to move something forward, though. Yeah, the chariot. It's going to move something forward. So there could be some sort of communication about like a breakup, a separation, a third party, the heartbreak, the depression, whatever. Okay, you two could live at a distance. There's something fast that's changing. A sudden change or a sudden shift is coming in. After like a third party separation or whatever this is. What's the two of swords? Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody guarded. They guard. I feel like their heart chakra has been closed off. Something has been in a stalemate because of heartbreak, pain, and shit. And this third party, they just keep fighting and shit. Just try to rebuild wound on top of wound on top of wound. Like, they just, they do that shit on purpose because they don't want this person to go nowhere. And especially towards you, if you're their divine counterpart, they definitely don't want y'all to be together. <laughs> this is a jealous ass ex of theirs. And this is why your person is moving. I feel like moving away from them. I feel like that's what they nervous to tell you about too. Like they just, they don't want you to feel no kind of way. I mean, it's natural though. You can't control how somebody else feels, especially if you put them in a third party situation. But I don't feel like it's that kind of relationship. I feel like there's two people that truly genuinely love each other. I ain't gonna lie. And it's like real love. It's not none of this bullshit. It's like y'all been through some shit, right? And y'all stood the test of time. I'm not talking about like somebody cheating on you continuously time and time again. And they still doing it and they just treat you bad. They're a bully. I'm not talking about that. This is just two people that had to grow. They had to go grow and go through their growing phases and shit. And you can understand this person like on a soul level, like their heart is just broken or something. I'm not talking about this karmic shit. People that cannot control their broken heart. Like they act off of emotion or something or they, I'm not talking about that. Yeah, the Empress. So yeah, it's it's like this person could have Virgo in their chart. Somebody's protecting themselves or guarding themselves. They're trying to like choose. I feel like more so choose between, choose like how to come towards you. Somebody's really strategic or methodical or they, something is they moving hella slow. That's what I'm saying. They moving slow. They moving slow here. But this person, I feel like they are loyal. They just feel like they they definitely been loyal to the wrong situation. But they can't <clears throat> they can't guard themselves away from you and punish you because like yeah, penalize you because of what somebody else did. I feel like that's what the conflict is, to be honest. I feel like they didn't already left this third party. The moon, the queen of cups, yeah. It's like you already you could feel this person on a soul level. I'm telling you, you connect with them emotionally. A very strong emotional connection you have with them and your cup is still full for them i feel like you understand you're very empathetic you're very sympathetic so this person i feel like this is why there's going to be some big changes the death card the knight of swords because they're understanding that now something there's changes that they're going through is helping them to understand that your love ain't went nowhere like you get upset but i don't feel like you completely discard this person or talk shit or beat them up or say certain things you're not like an abusive ass hoe like probably this bitch is. You you don't because you have genuine feelings for them like you care about them even if y'all not in a relationship. That's the kind of love I'm getting. I'm not getting none of this weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah, it's really like peaceful kind of like connection. It it is. Y'all bring each other peace and this happiness here and it's protected too. So that's why I'm feeling like it's for some of you this your twin. Okay, like this your twin here. Yeah. So somebody here just needs to reach out. Like I feel like somebody's gonna help someone through something as long as they don't project. You feel me? Like, I mean, there's a certain way you gotta do that. And I feel like it could actually be done. 
with the right person and both of y'all mature like that it could be done somebody around them knows emotionally like immature i feel like whoever your emperor is they're actually quite mature and but i just feel like you you could be a very mature woman but you do have dealt with a lot of immature men and vice versa for this masculine yeah but let's see very interesting i don't know i like real love situations though not a lot of people have that what's the curiosity yeah the hierophant yeah now they're looking into commitment the hierophant for some of you guys you could have some sort of different belief systems like you could be more spiritual they could be religious or whatever but for some of you it's piquing this person's interest because they could be spiritual too on a soul level it's just they have to break out of this religious shit i'm gonna keep it a band like that shit is to keep people separated and somebody could be tapping in more to their spirituality their spiritual side all right it could be a taurus somebody could be a teacher a guru yeah with the star somebody could be seen in a public eye so now i feel like something is changing what's what's curiosity with the hierophant or this is what it's gonna be yeah five of swords yeah i feel like somebody you this person persons share the same values and things like that like y'all have the same principalities and things um There's like a conflict here though. What's this taking a closer look, keeping tabs? Hmm. What's this uh what's this five of swords? Knight of Swords, the death card, Gemini energy, that's the death card, Scorpio. This could be another Scorpio or hmm. So there is something here. Somebody took action on something. Page of Wands, a star. Somebody here defeated something. For some of you, I'm getting somebody defeated someone spiritually. There, This could be a karmic. This could be this bitch here. <laughs> Whoever this is right here that's controlling, obsessive. They ass is, they're delusional. Could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. But Knight of Swords talks about being a leader, making big changes, okay, taking action, being goal-oriented. This could be someone that's quite impulsive or impatient, too, though. But I feel like somebody here, there's some sort of big changes. Let's see. What's this Knight of Swords? Because I'm trying to figure out that. Okay, yeah, Six of Cups. So this is Six of Cups, Four of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody from someone's past that is on some fuck shit here. Okay, they could be using kids and shit like that to try to play with somebody or the, the authorities could be involved. The law could be involved. For some of you, this bitch got the laws. They work close with officials like, a, okay, I just heard secret society. They could be in some sort of secret society or they could have people in their family that work for the officials that could be trying to like do something here with, some, with their children. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not going to go well for them because I feel like they've been defeated. Or you stood up for yourself. Yeah, somebody here plays on your weaknesses. Somebody feels like you're gullible, you're naive, you're childish. And I feel like you told they ass something about themselves. Okay. Or this person, your karmic here, your person's karmic could be trying to attack you and not knowing who the fuck you are because you could be a spiritual guru. You're ranked spiritually. So they coming at you with this childish ass behavior because they mad or upset or they want to fight or whatever the fuck. They've been defeated. Okay. I feel like... This is somebody here that's a bully. So some of y'all could be taking that shit to court. I would. Fuck all that. Yeah, somebody here could be stalking and shit. They they have a problem. So you could be taking their ass to court or whatever. Oh, this is spiritual law. Whoever's trying to go up against a divine being, somebody's a divine masculine. So I don't know. Somebody here is trying to hurt somebody. There could be something going on too with like abuse. There could be an investigation going on about child abuse here. Or somebody being violent, a domestic violence situation that's over, that's ending. Because somebody stood up for themselves. They're not tolerating that shit no more. Somebody needs to keep their fucking hands to themselves. And I keep getting that too. Somebody could be on the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Because I've been getting like abuse a lot for Sagittarius. I don't think in my last reading, but it just reminded me of Sagittarius. Okay, what's the death card? So now somebody is transitioning. They're changing. That's a big change for somebody. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Death and rebirth. So something here is definitely turning out in your favor. 
and karma is playing out now because somebody here needs to not be doing what the fuck they doing. Whoever this is has control issues and they're fucking abusive. I don't like these abusive ass hoes. And it's crazy because women be coming up in my readings as abusive, but they don't like people don't want to talk about that. Though. Everything is about the man doing this. No, you bitches are nasty. And I'm just here to explain. That's why hoes don't like me and I don't give a fuck. I'm going to call you out on your shit. You need to keep your hands to yourself if you don't want to get popped. <laughs> if you don't want to get popped by a man who's obviously way more stronger than you. Why the fuck you keep putting your hands on people? And I feel like this divine masculine is not fighting with this hoe. They're not even putting their hands on them. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody's just abusive or something like that. They do too much. And it's children involved. So, okay. So what's what's the Hierophant? Yeah, Sagittarius, Will of Fortune. Could be a fixed sign though. Scorpio, <laughs> Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. What's the Hierophant? Yeah, the chariot, the police. I'm telling you, the chariot with the hierophant. That's the police. Somebody could be going to jail, okay? They ass probably need to be locked up under the jail because they need to keep their hands to themselves. They need to keep their hands to themselves. When they get mad, they want to blow up and, and fight and shit. Bro, if this divine masculine pop your ass one good time, you're going to be looking crazy. Oh my God, a man hit me. And but you don't want to bring up the part about you putting your hands on somebody. Men are human like we are. What the fuck? Somebody is delusional. Their belief systems are fucking, they, they crazy. Somebody's like, they have a problem. Really fucking mentally disturbed. So I'm getting with the, yeah, the Hierophant, the Chariot. Taking a closer look. Curiosity, peaked interest, investigating further. Somebody could be under investigation. Taking a closer look, keeping tabs. So there could be the authorities watching this person. The authorities could be watching somebody. And I feel like as soon as they make one wrong move here, because it's sad that this masculine, I feel like this masculine has to sneak around and do what they have to do here because it's whole like the fight. It's like, bitch, if this person, bro, I swear, yeah, the judgment, somebody could be going to prison. They could be in court right now dealing with whatever this shit is. What's the hierophant with the chariot? What's the hierophant with the chariot? Could be a cancer. Yeah, the king of cups. Yeah. Yep, the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Cups and the Temperance. Yeah. So this could be somebody's spirit guide too. Or this this person could be like a spirit guide. Your person. Hmm. And you know, for some of you, this person, they don't have to be physically abusive. They could be emotionally and mentally abusive. But I see physical with the Five of Wands. And they could be all three. And this could be a father figure, the king of cups here, that's very emotionally mature. They're stable or they've grown to be that way. Whoever they're around, they're just childish. But your spirit team is not playing with this hierophant. The, the chariot talks about triumph, victory. So some of y'all could be winning a court case or something like that. Or something is going in y'all favor. But somebody, this your spirit team is not playing with this stupid asshole. <laughs> like, I'm so for real. They need to keep their raggedy ass fingers to them damn selves, their hands, their raggedy ass, crusty, ashy ass hands to their fucking self. And worry about these fucking children that they need to be taking care of instead of trying to control you and who you date and who you deal with. Bitch, because anybody after you, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 10 times better. Understand that and let it go. Like, move the fuck around. You're a loser. Understand that you are that and just keep it moving. Somebody here, they get on my nerves. And clearly, they getting on God's nerves, too. What's, uh, what else for Scorpio? They ass getting ready to be in spiritual jail. Yeah, side piece in reverse. Yeah, somebody walking away from this damn hoe. Walking away, commitment exposed. Caught up, ultimatum, threes a crowd, game over, returning home. <laughs> separation grass was not greener yeah so your person they was probably yeah they probably was dealing with this person on the side or something maybe just having sex with them or whatever this is and then they met you and realized that you was the one and they need to be with you and it's hard to get away from this bitch because they created a soul tie probably created children something went overboard I feel like they got forced into a connection right it's like somebody here maybe was single and minding their own business then they ran across this karmic 
and they started having sex and they like, oh, well, damn, I'm so in love. Let's start, let's make a baby. Let's start a family and blah, blah, blah. And then they realized how unhappy they were and how abusive somebody is. And something here went from a side piece to a wife or a husband when they should, they shouldn't have never had that title to begin with. Somebody's not worth that. Now their ego and their, yeah, energy vampire. Now their ego and their pride is big. It's like, how dare you take me off the pedestal that you put me on? Bitch, my bad. <laughs> like my bad. I didn't even mean to put you there. I had to learn from your ass though. And now somebody has learned. So it's just time to move forward. Yeah, we have astral travel. In reverse, fear, doubt, imbalance, anxiety, not being in the present, breed, and stress. Yeah, somebody stressed the fuck out here. Somebody here could have had the ability to astral travel and they fucking lost that gift or something like that because they abused it. They abused it. for They use it for the wrong reasons, but... Or some of y'all, you and this person are blocked because somebody is... There's like stress. There was stress or anxiety or whatever. Okay, yeah, poverty, mm. rock bottom, shelter, homeless, nostalgia, living with family, friends, ex. So this person could have lived with they, this ex. Poor decisions, mental prison, trying to come up with a plan. <laughs> yeah, they walking away from this person, though. They getting the fuck away from them. They don't give a fuck if they're homeless or not at this point. Yeah, solitude. Their mental health is more important than them. I feel like if they just trust, yeah, and have faith with the higher fan, things are going to work out. And they are. Or this is you. Connecting to nature, recalculating, pause, peace, taking a break, silence. Yeah. New perspective, centering, and grounding. Roots. Yeah. Somebody somebody here is worried about their safety. Healthy survival instincts. Yeah. Their instincts are kicking in. Grounded, stability, security, feel safe, confident. Yeah. feel like their safety and their kids' safety is more important right now than anything. You feel me? So I feel like that's what's happening. Somebody is trying to get their living situation together, too, because they could have been living with this karmic, sadly. And this is the kind of masculine that's going to hide it from other people because they don't want to look weak. You know what I'm saying? Venus. Libra, Taurus. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. So, Yeah. Venus, it says love, money, abundance, marriage, friendships, relationships, attraction, beauty, sympathize, business relationships, emotional bonds, and artistic. Yeah, so there, there's love here because somebody is grinding themselves. They're grinding themselves here or they could have moved. Somebody could have moved and went moved to a different area where they feel more safe and grounded. So I feel like they could be working on their finances. Ace of Pentacles, somebody's money is getting ready to look good here. Or... This relationship is tied. You and this person are tied in some way where you are sent to help this person. So they have to get out of their ego and like come towards you the right way. You're willing to help them. That's what I'm saying. Abundance, stability, solid offer. For some of you guys, this could be like a home coming in for you, a car, more money. I don't know. Something, something is coming in here when you like embrace the fact that this is your fucking story, okay? Like, this is your story. Yeah, moving. Virgo and moving. I can't make it up. I can't even twist my arm. My arm sore as fuck. <laughs> it is so sore. But, um, yeah, Virgo and moving. So, somebody here, yeah, there's a new beginning. Somebody could be getting a new home, new car, whatever this is, okay? Or some of y'all, you could be moving in with your person. Yeah, new love. New love here. What else? Solar plexus, yeah. Somebody had to fucking find the the power and the strength to get away from this person. Somebody's self esteem was low. Okay. Somebody, it says identity. I feel like somebody was going through an identity crisis. They didn't know who they were, so they chose low vibrational hoes to co create with, procreate with, with, and that shit went left real fast. Moon, yeah. Under astral travel in reverse. Feminine energy, hidden emotions, dreams, inner knowledge, subconscious, secret, shadow self. Yeah. Intuition, wisdom, desires, and fears. Yeah. And then we have astral travel, fear, and doubt. So a lot of fear. A lot of fear, man. That shit is... I don't like hearing about abuse. That shit is annoying to me. 
and you get whatever the fuck you deserve, ho. Or whatever the spirit is bringing, whatever wrath you getting ready to feel, you deserve it. Every ounce. Period. So guardian angel, yeah. Uh -huh. Message, signs and symbols, assistance, answers, meditation, listen, guidance, silent. Nature, enlightenment, important, present, and protected. Yeah, so somebody here just needs to have faith. when it Because poverty is over top of guardian angels. So somebody is being guided. They're being protected too. It's like you lose something and then there's something else. You take a risk to leave this, this side piece hole. Yeah, and now you have keys to a new place. Or if you move towards your person, I don't know. Something, I don't know. Maybe this person need help, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying, though, just trust that you're going to be fine. Yeah, Pluto, Scorpio. Okay, death and rebirth. Yeah, renewal, change, discovering core power, transformation, Phoenix rising, spiritual development. So yeah, somebody is now in solitude. They're centering themselves. They can think straight. They're not with this conflicted, loser, clown-ass, punk-ass hoe no more. So they can now go through this transformation and think straight. Okay, it's like somebody couldn't even think straight. Their fucking intuitive gifts have been blocked and everything. Virgo. Okay, yeah, Virgo energy. So your person can have Virgo in their chart. Analytical, creative, helpful, modest, responsible, faithful, hard worker, critical thinker, patience, intelligent artist. So I feel like that could be you, Divine Feminine. With the root chakra, you're grounded, you're stable. I feel like your person could need help or something. What's Virgo? They need you to like help them in a way or what? Yeah, Jupiter. <laughs> yep, moving. I'm telling you, somebody, my left ear ringing. Yeah, moving and U turn. Yeah, I feel like they don't want to look like an opportunist, though. That's what I'm getting. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces. <laughs> or they know that you're going to look at them like that. But it's a good fortune, expansive success, wealth, higher learning, abstract mind, travel, growth, achievement, thinking, mental and spiritual development. So somebody here could definitely be moving, though. Somebody could be moving to a new home, their root shop, or they could be getting, they're moving away. So that way they can feel safe, first of all. But somebody could definitely be moving. What else? I feel like they are or they have. Yeah, healer. Under Venus energy. Healing energy, Reiki, nurse or doctor, shaman, wise woman or man. Connection to spirit, witch, open channel, feel energy, and lineage. Yeah, so somebody here has a past life of being a healer. You could have Libra in your chart. It could be a Taurus or a Libra with Venus. Or you could have both like I do. I have both in my chart. Yeah, Taurus. Okay, so wow. And then we have Libra. <laughs> So somebody probably do got Taurus or Libra in that chart as well as Aries. Okay. See, your love, like I said, your love really helped heal somebody. I know that sounds corny, but it really did, though. That, that's that's because that's your counterpart here. <laughs> that's just your counterpart. For some of you, that is. Dark Knight of the Soul. Yeah. Revelation, lack energy, feel crazy, confused, feel lost, stuck, despair, fear, isolation, painful period, random, intense memories. Ace of Swords, black magic, throat chakras, so, and sacral chakra. Somebody has had someone's chakras blocked just like completely. There could be some like community. There's some truth here. For some of you guys, you spoke something. You said that somebody was doing black magic on this person. And I feel like they're finding out that it's the truth. They're seeing that it's the truth. Or they're learning more about black magic. Because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with educating yourself on certain things. To see how you can protect yourself from it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the truth could be coming out about some black magic here. Alright. Somebody's getting some sort of download. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Uh, so very interesting, Scorpio. Very interesting. So this was your reading. I hope this resonated. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.